Well, the art and artists whose work defined the 1970s punk era came together in an exhibition of never-before-seen videos, art, and photographs. In this week's road trip close to home, News 12 photojournalist Lori Goliath takes us backstage to this nostalgic exhibit in Westport. It's a very nostalgic show for some people, but also is a little rebellious and just fun. We are at the Punk is Coming exhibition at MoCA Westport. Let's argue that it started in New York City in the club at CBGB's in 1976. That was really apparently the birthplace of the punk scene. And it just flourished. We made a concerted effort to try to bring in all of the bands from the time. Encompassing music, art, fashion, film, and just with an energy that the punk movement really captured. And if they're not seen on the walls and the photographs, they're seen in the films that we're showing here as well. So the works that are hanging is an installation that we did especially for Roberta Bailey's prints. When you walk into this space, these are all suspended. And on the flip side, you also have some photographs. And if you go to other portions of our gallery, you'll actually see her work in their context of album covers. It's funny because what we learned was that women, not only the musicians in the bands, but behind the scenes actually did have a very prominent role and were quite recognized actually at the time. We have photographs curated by Roberta Bailey. She is bringing in particularly women artists that have not been necessarily seen before in a museum setting. I love the paintings of Richard Butler, who is actually the uh, singer and still is the singer for the Psychedelic Furs. They are still touring. We have work by actually the Ramones. Dee Dee Ramone did some, some painting here. I just love the way we have some of the artists in the photographs and then some of the artwork made by the artists here. I just think it's a great display of a little bit of everything from the punk era, but there's also a lot to be thought about, like what was happening in New York, for instance, in the late 70s at the time. We've had a really great mix of people coming to the show. Young people, very interested, some of them familiar with the music, some of them not at all. And then people that are feeling very nostalgic, having grown up during the era and excited to see this show here. It's been a long time, I think, since people have sort of revisited the, the visuals as well as the music. It just shows that it's important that, that this music survives, the visuals survive. It's an influence that's, that's everlasting, for sure. That looks awesome. Admission to MoCA Westport is free. Guided tours, happy hour, and many special events are held on Thursdays. For more information, go to news12.com.